Studio. My name is Michael Taylor and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I want to talk about my top three favorite coins, but before I get into it, I want to establish that this is not financial advice. I'm not suggesting you guys invest your money in these projects. I'm simply going to review them and give you my opinion of them. Uh, I highly encourage you to do your own research and um, you know, cryptocurrencies are very volatile, so please understand that before you get involved. All right, with that being said, I would like to show you uh, the top three coins other than Bitcoin. Apologize. Let me uh, specify. Bitcoin is always going to be number one in my eyes, at least for now, um, until something happens. But other than that, I want to talk about Ethereum, Litecoin, and NEO. So first up is Ethereum. Let's go to their page. Basically, what Ethereum is accomplishing is they are becoming the main chain that other businesses and companies and uh, you know projects can kind of attach to so ethereum is establishing this long chain right and then other businesses can break off start their own uh, token without having to rewrite or uh, secure an entire blockchain and this is really cool it's really interesting because this means that you know whoever you are if you have a business so if you do invoicing you can create a token and use ethereum as the backbone to uh to operate your token so ethereum is a central hub for all of these uh decentralized applications or dApps um, as you might have heard them and the tokens that they are issuing are called erc20 tokens and there's probably you know 500 of those you can find those on uh, coin market cap as well uh, and um, yeah I just think ethereum is going to be around for quite a while currently it works on a proof-of-work system which means that uh, miners that process transactions get paid in the form of gas uh, but eventually ethereum has been talking about working towards a proof-of-stake uh, system where you would literally just own the ethereum and then by staking your tokens you could verify and confirm and secure the transactions and that gives a lot of incentives just to own the token so are the coin so ethereum is very cool it's going to be around for quite a while and i'm very excited for it next up is oh sorry let me show you their uh their code this is their github obviously very active awesome team good stuff all right moving on the next coin i want to talk about is litecoin so as i was talking about earlier you can go onto github and you can copy and clone all of bitcoin's uh software their entire code map you can just clone that and then create your own coin but remember the reason no one is doing that is because it's very hard to build up a network around your new token, right? Because everyone knows Bitcoin, they don't want to use JoeCoin or, or whatever it is. Um, but what Litecoin accomplished is they did exactly that. It is a clone copy of Bitcoin, uh, but there are a few differences. So I'll go to the Litecoin uh, site. So as you'll notice, the max supply is a lot higher than Bitcoin. So instead of 21 million, it is four times as much at 84 million, um, which is, remember, it's, it means it's not going to be as uh, rare, but it's still very valuable because it has all of the code behind it. Um, and I, basically what Litecoin was trying to accomplish is they want to be the silver to Bitcoin's gold. So think of Litecoin as the way to transfer or to buy things on the network and then Bitcoin is a way to store all of the value. Um, just like gold and kind of like silver. You know, you, you trade back and forth with your silver and then if you want to buy a big purchase like a house or a car, you use your gold. Um, so it's kind of the same idea. But the reason I'm very excited in Litecoin is because I think I've discovered what makes it so uh, valuable. And 
the fact that it is a clone copy of Bitcoin is important, but it's also interesting because I believe that Litecoin is the gateway into Bitcoin. So if you've followed Litecoin or if you know anything about Litecoin, they are the ones that first implemented Lightning Network and SegWit and some of these kind of, uh, uh, I guess, experimental pro like programs and uh, you know different projects. And what I think they're doing is I think that the same team that's working on Bitcoin is also working on Litecoin. Only they're experimenting with Litecoin before they implement it on Bitcoin. And I can show you that because uh, here is uh, a list of the Bitcoin contributors. So you can uh, kind of gauge and see who's working on it. And then if you go over to Litecoin, it's almost the exact same group. Uh, which means that I believe that the, the same group is working on Litecoin and then they're going to implement a lot of the projects onto Bitcoin after it, they've established that it works on Litecoin. And this is to kind of uh, protect Bitcoin's name and brand, right? Because if Bitcoin screws up or if something bad happens with Bitcoin and uh, you know, people lose a lot of money or, or you know, transactions get all crazy, people are going to absolutely destroy or try to destroy Bitcoin's name. And that will try to circumvent and try to uh, basically tarnish the name of all cryptocurrencies, right? Because that's, that's the, the one that everyone knows. Everyone knows about Bitcoin. And if everyone's talking trash about Bitcoin, well, then all the other ones are scams too. You see what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of what they're doing. I'm not, obviously, I have no clue if that's honestly what they're doing, but uh, that's just kind of my hunch. Anyway, Litecoin is very cheap right now. Uh, I could see this going easily up to one to six ratio with Bitcoin eventually. So as you'll see, Litecoin is at less than $200 and Bitcoin is at almost 12,000. Um, and so, you know, I, I see a very bright future for Litecoin. I think that a lot of big things are coming in 2018. Um, as far as Litecoin goes, you know, I, there, there have been rumors about Amazon and uh, other payment services. They have a great mining network. Uh, a lot of mining hardware goes into Litecoin. So definitely one to uh, consider. And the last coin I want to talk about is NEO. So NEO is very, very exciting. NEO is essentially, um, essentially the same thing as Ethereum. It's trying to accomplish a very similar thing where you basically build all these D, D apps, right? These decentralized applications on top of NEO. Um, and uh, then you can run your program or your business through NEO. And so these are a list of some of the other projects. Uh, AdX is very exciting. Next, very cool. Um, so you can look into all of these, but all of these projects are working through NEO, similarly to how the ERC20 tokens work through Ethereum. Um, but a very unique thing about NEO is that you can stake their token to generate gas. So if we go back to CoinMarketCap, NEO is right here and it has a price of $140. And if you scroll down, you'll find gas, which is $50 right now. But basically, if you stake your NEO token, it, over time, it will start to generate gas for free. Like you don't have to do anything. You literally just own the token, put it in the wallet, and it'll start to generate gas. You can then either sell the gas for to buy more NEO, or you can you know sell the gas and get US dollars out. It's, it's a very interesting project. It's, it's what Proof of Stake is doing, but um, the reason I think NEO is doing such a great job is because they're integrating the gas into the dApps. And so in order to release a dApp, you have to use gas. And that gives a very large incentive to hold gas, right? So a lot of people will just get the NEO and they'll generate the gas and then they'll sell it and then they'll you know, just keep doing that process. Get the gas, sell it. Well, I personally am hoarding my gas. I'm, I'm actually collecting more. You can, you can go onto other exchanges and buy gas. 
and because I think that you know later down the line and it and maybe this year if not next year uh, there are going to be so many developers that want to be on Neo that you know gas is going to be very valuable and let me show you some of the gas statistics so right now there's only 10 million in circulation uh, and so it will go up to a hundred million which is fine but that will probably take three or four if not five years in order to reach that maximum supply so gas is going to be very scarce right it's going to be very rare and it's going to be very valuable because a lot of these developers are going to need it in order to be in order to integrate into neo so neo itself is a terrific terrific uh project there are so many things happening with it um they have a defcon like a developer conference coming up uh i think the end of this month or early february where they're going to release a lot of really cool information so i would definitely look into neo and um, yeah that is pretty much it for my top three coins other than bitcoin uh, so yeah do some research look into it and thank you guys for watching i will see you next time